One of the most asked questions in aiming community is how to fix shaky aim. See, shaky aim might be the reason why you're not improving or playing the level you want to. Fixing this issue is somewhat simple, but we need to look at what's causing it. There are quite a few things that cause this, so we'll go over them one by one. And we're gonna find out what's causing it specifically for you. So, let's go. Sitting position. Yep, see how you're sitting on your leg right now? What you should focus on is having a posture that is optimally keeping your back straight and that the height of your chair allows your hands to softly relax on a desk. Going too low will cause a stress on your shoulders and going too high will cause it on biceps and triceps. Idea is to have your body and your primary hand as relaxed as possible. Experiment with the way your elbows sit on your desk. Let me explain. You either keep your elbows hanging from the desk or you keep them resting on it. I can't really tell you which one will work better for you. If it means anything to you, I always kept my elbows on a desk and hands slightly pushed forward. Generally speaking, if you are a low sense player, letting your elbows hang off the desk will allow you for wider hand motion while having them relaxed on a desk, you kind of work in a way as anchor and help you stabilize for smaller movements. Reduce friction. The reason you have shaky aim is because your muscles are struggling to maintain consistent linear movement. Adding friction from greasy hands, dead skin or dirty mouse pad will add in consistent obstacles that you have to counter real time, which, as you can guess, will not help you at all. How to solve this? Well, it's pretty simple. Wash your hands and wash your mouse pad. If your mouse pad is old, consider changing it. Or if you have some extra 30 or 40 bucks laying on a side, don't feel anxious about trying different surface mouse pads. Ideally speaking, mouse pads with faster surfaces will give you less friction, which will directly help you track enemies smoothly. Since market is saturated with different brands and mousepad models, picking the right one is for sure a hard choice. So here are a couple recommendations from me. If you are looking for a cloth pad, my top two recommendations that I can guarantee for are Artisan Hien and Little Gaming Gear Saturn. In other hands, if you're looking for a glass pad, you can pick Skypad 3.0 or Glasspad SP004. Both are made by same company, but Skypad changed branding to Volhack recently. If you want a glass pad which can be made specifically for your liking, there is a company called Mashima Ultima that is making S-tier products and they can adjust the speed of the surface for your needs. Pretty cool. These companies never gave me a single dollar to advertise them or say anything good about them. I'm just giving you my honest recommendation from a standpoint of somebody who is super nitpicky. Heck, I even worked in a development of some of these mouse pads. Tip number four, pay attention to the way you hold your mouse. Holding it too stiff will never allow you to have a smooth aim. Relax, that mouse is not going anywhere. Make sure your grip is soft and use minimal effort when tracking or moving around. Build a habit of being gentle with it. Speed will come naturally, so don't worry about that. You might think that your flicks will be slower, which probably will be somewhat slower compared to a stiffer grip, but the relaxed grip will make your aim so, so, so much more consistent. And that's a trade I would take any day. If you're a claw grip user, here is an advice for you. Instead of holding your hand level with a mouse pad, try relaxing it and letting it sit on an angle. Can't go too much in details why in this video, but try it and thank me later. Tip number five. Pay attention to the things you eat and drink. Not drinking enough water is a known cause for creating tremors. Too much or too little sugar will have the same effect on you. Sleep well at night, try being somewhat healthy, and if it's not for making your aim better, it will at least make your overall health and life better. Tip number six. Now, this is a hard one, and what I'm about to tell you might be hard to swallow for some people. Maybe because nobody that makes this type of videos says it or maybe nobody of you wants to hear this, uh, but you might never be able to have a smooth aim and have that aimbot level of tracking. We are all different, and after you tried fixing everything I've mentioned in the video, you might come to a realization that it wasn't the way you play, but the way you are that is preventing you from being smooth. And that's totally okay. If nothing helped so far, what you can do is play around with your in-game sensitivity. Going lower sense, you counter a jitter caused by muscles and mask the issue. Keep in mind that you don't have to have a smooth aim. It's definitely good to have it, but if that's not your thing, you can always change the way you play. You can always change your style. You can be a snappy aim guy. If you can't smoothly track, 
spend more time trying to improve flicks and cross replacement. You don't really have to have one-to-one -one replica of aim as your favorite pro player or streamer. Come up with your own style. If you are still watching and still want to improve your smoothness, here is a simple scenario in Kovacs that you can boot up right after this video and practice. Search for Smoothness Training 60. This is a super simple and straightforward scenario. Target will always move the same path and speed, so you don't have to focus on reactivity or reaction time. Just focus on trying to track it as smoothly as possible. Experiment with everything I've said in the video till you see what works best for you and what has the most impact. If you like this video, please subscribe. That way you will let me know that you like the content I'm making. Also, if you found this helpful, let me know in the comments if I should make a video on more scenario in Kovacs or Aimlab and how to practice in them. Because the one I showed you is pretty simple, but it's good enough to get the ball rolling. So, until the next one, peace out.